action. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Chicago Reacts. I'm Michael. I'm an actor here in the city of Chicago, and I'm joined by the ever brilliant. That was so beautifully said, Michael. Oh, I'm Zach, also an actor here in Chicago. Hopefully, like. Your, your top two list, you know, <laughs> inclu includes the both of us. Today we're reacting to something brand new to the channel. Uh, we, are do we are reacting to Band of Brothers, uh, yes. which, which neither of us have seen or and experienced. We've seen a lot, but we yes. missed Band of Brothers. The cool thing is we are starting a Patreon. Yes. So the full reaction will be available there. And really, yeah. this is just the beginning. So if, yes. if you're interested in watching us do full reactions to television shows or movies or anything like that, go support us on Patreon. Uh, and it's this is really just where we're starting. We'd love support there as well. And that'll open it up so we can do a bunch of other things. We've loved like growing the channel with you guys. And um, hopefully you've been around Michael and I long enough now where you, 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 you might get a sense like, oh, I could vibe with these guys. And <laughs> the, these longer videos definitely give us the opportunity to do that. And I think Patreon will take that sort of to a whole new level. Also, we're actors, so we're excited to watch yeah, like, a television yeah. show and, and see some really cool performances. And yeah. for those of you watching, we, we've also act, reacted to like the War Thunder stuff. Uh, and I feel like quite a bit. That's sort of like the emotional storytelling of like war. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're super excited for Band of Brothers. Hey, make sure to leave comment section or uh, leave comments in the comment section down below. Anything you want us to react to, mm -hmm. make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna uh, shoot out some clips for Band of Brothers stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you want to watch the full thing, check out our Patreon. Yes, and then also Michael and I, being actors ourselves, we have our stuff linked below. Yeah. Um, so feel free to check out our Instagrams, Facebooks, and our IMDb's as well. If you're kind of curious as to what we've been up to in the acting world, we got some exciting stuff coming yep. out um, in the next couple of years. Without any further ado, Band of Brothers, episode one. <laughs> Season one. And just to be clear, not Battle of the Bands, all right? This is Band of Brothers. Band Get of it brothers. right. Get it right. Did I say Battle of the Bands? <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. Like, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. You freaked me out for a uh, second. Uh, all right. Here we go. This is cool, Michael. I know. I almost want to turn the lights off. H it's not. It's not just TV. It's not just it's TV. HBO. It's hobo. The guy giving the, the speech was saying, but you get paid fifty dollars a month more, so that made it a hundred bucks. Oh my God! I wouldn't jump out of an airplane. I mean, inflation, but <laughs> jumping out of an airplane for a hundred bucks. So that's cool that they're like taking these real stories and like and and like these episodes. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm making a guess here, but that they're inspired by true stories. Oh, like. Yeah, yeah. Which obviously there's a bunch of historical context for all of these mm -hmm. episodes like you can pull from. Yeah. Also just like a uh, really effective way to start like a, a documentary type intro. Um, really yeah. good way to, in, the, in that first like minute and a half where you have to, to, to encapsulate people. Uh, really yeah. effective. Really but grounds you in like the reality of what you're about to watch. Yeah. Like from this is based on reality, yeah. based on some of the uh, true events. From the actual people that yeah. are, are there. Based on people willing to jump out of a plane for an extra for 100 bucks a 50 month. 50 bucks. Man, what a baller. Right. David Schwimmer, Ross, Donnie Wahlberg. Yeah, it's crazy recognizing all of these people. Mm -hmm. Yep. We just need our band of brothers. I know. We're available for hire. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool. Like, they're you know, making it look like old photographs and things like that. Mm -hmm. Trying to bring truth back to life, or like yeah. these real stories. Feel like you're getting a glimpse of history, essentially. Yeah. All right, we got our airborne. Mm -hmm. There you go. Getting that extra hundred bucks a month. No, extra fifty. It was extra fifty. No jump tonight. The evasion has been postponed. We're on a 24-hour stand down. It'd be like a sigh of relief for me. <laughs> that, that would be a sigh of, I mean, unless yeah. like, I mean, I don't know. I feel I, like you got to get yourself on a certain mental sure, place. You're like, sure, I'm like, ready to yeah. go. And, or how yeah. many times have they been told like, eh, we're postponed again. Right, right. I guess the, the, the roller coaster of like ups and downs yeah, must eventually great. get to I got to redo my mud mask. Yeah. <laughs> The acting's already really good too. Like, like the what what they're saying without saying anything is um, very very captivating. Mm -hmm. You people are at the position 
of attention. It's, it's weird seeing Ross do that. I know. I asked you a question, Private. What do you do? Oh, easy company. I don't know if uh, that kid's gonna make it. I got a bad feeling about that kid. Yeah, not a lot of. Uh, it does doesn't do a lot to uh, inspire confidence. No. In uh, making a good airborne uh, recruit, if you will, airborne yeah. trooper. Yeah, fun to see a different side of Ross. You know. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. We've got 13 minutes to get to the top well, of this mountain. If you want to. At least Ross is running too. Silver! There's a bunch of background actors in this yeah. scene who got hired to run sure. up a hill. Sure. That would that um, would be awful. I mean, have you ever done background work? I have done some background work, and I think about it a lot. Yeah, so. I, I've never done background work, but I have been um, a stand-in. Season one of Mixtape, I think episode eight, I'm in it, and there's a nice solid shot of me Ooh. reacting to one of the dance numbers, so Ooh, check baby. it out. We can do this, come on! Now they gotta do it in gear. Oh. Christensen, why is there no water in your canteen? You drank from your canteen, didn't you? Private Christensen, you have disobeyed a direct order. You will fill your canteen and repeat all 12 miles of the march immediately. Yes, sir. Fall out! So, what'd you do? Fuck. Ooh, that <laughs> schlop is looking good for a meal. Fuck, man. Yeah, this guy's really trying to break him and get um, him ready. Um, yeah. Um, Yeah, it's pretty intense. Mm -hmm. yep. But hey, you get nice slot for dinner. The lucky six. I love me some shots. I'm going to be the airborne, sir. You have 15 minutes to the top and back, and I will be watching you. What are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. 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 What do you think? Do you think that's like appreciation for his like his his van, or do you think that's a little bit of? Uh, I mean, to me, I think he's um, trying to like get him to a point where they can't be broken by him. Right. If they can't be broken, <laughs> essentially, like <laughs> if they can't be broken by me, nothing will break them. Right. Sure, and that's sure. where they need to be. Sure. That was actually really good acting, though, by uh, by David Schwimmer there, because uh, to me that could have been read in two very different ways. One is like a moment almost where he almost cracks a smile because he's he's maybe somewhat proud, like like yeah. he's like he's like I the I have persona made drops for a second. Yes. Or it 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 could like it almost came across as like a little bit of like almost envy um i thought that, that was that was really good yeah can I we get some back. spaghetti over here daniel i think we're back <laughs> yeah. someone's not gonna be good wow oh, man. wow what a shot though i mean you couldn't really see a lot but like it was very jarring you had that i don't know about you but i had that gut feeling like, yeah no no i did too yeah the, the the blind loyalty to the to the company is just good. they got a weekend off also beer <laughs> when, when you are like ex you are you are exercising off that many calories in a day and you're eating the diet that you are and then you're chugging beer <laughs> Oh, my stomach hurts just thinking about it. It's so good. It's so refreshing. <laughs> yeah. All right, who are we meeting now? Oh, it's our same boys. Tactical car. Do you think he's going to be dead wrong? Or do you think he's going to have good instincts? I don't know. He's dead wrong. He's dead wrong. Yeah. I love their banter back and forth. Their it's, chemistry yeah, is really it's, good. It's, it's, actually, it's really... It's, it's really good. You could just tell that their their chemistry was spot on off the bat. And I had a case of the bat 69 hidden in your foot locker. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> Morning. Morning. <laughs> yes. Morning. Uh, I like that. That was a good. Uh, that was a really nice exchange. Man, look at how crowded that is. Yeah. It's giving me anxiety. It's giving me that <laughs> COVID anxiety.
Nice shot. All right. Bullseye. <laughs> I feel like that's the moment where you're just like, okay, this is cool. Though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That 50 bucks was worth it. <laughs> I think that this might be the most impressed with Schwimmer's acting. I think I've been. The, the subtleties of his fear are really manifesting themselves. It's interesting because it, in the first couple scenes, he mm -hmm. was very much a man who demanded respect. Do now right, you're seeing right. him flounder. And right. from your perspective, you're like, I think you're in the same position as an audience member, as someone mm -hmm. in his troop. You're going, right. this fucking guy. <laughs> he makes me scared and I kind of hate him. So I think he's, he's nailing it. Is this Simon Pegg? It's Simon Pegg. It looks like Simon Pegg. Right? It kind of looks like Simon Pegg. Now <laughs> you cut that bitch and get this goddamn platoon on the moon! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir! Oh man. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man. Ross is in trouble. Ooh. People are gonna be running all night long. That is That's totally Simon, Simon Bag. I told you. That's Simon Bag. I changed the time to 0945. No one told me, sir. I telephoned. I'm courted with a family that has no telephone. Irregardless, when given a task to perform by a ranking officer, you should have delegated your task of latrine oh, inspection man, to another officer. I request trial by court martial. Yes, Winters. That's his name. They're all printed on yep. the jacket. Yep. All right. Good. They're becoming a band of we brothers. All better be clear. You know, watching this and like watching uh, Winters like earn the respect of his men, it kind of reminds me. For those of you who've watched some of our other reaction stuff, we reacted to the Napoleonic Wars, yeah. and it reminds me a lot of what they talked about with Napoleon and how a lot of his men like trusted and supported him, and that's why he was so as successful as he was because he could, his men were willing to follow him into battle. Man, I thought that was a really good ending point for episode one, so I... Yeah, we gotta go back to the beginning, yep. though. We're gonna see him yep. jump. Boy, she sure is a doozy. Hey, talk her in there. What? Hi? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Penny! Jeez. They're gonna drop in on Normandy? Oh, my God. That would actually been a really good place to end the episode. <laughs> Easy Company will destroy that garrison. Simple. Oh, he, shit, he's gonna know. He's gonna, did he just slip him the letter? Is that how he told him? I, maybe. Or is it somebody else? I, I. That's not is, a great way to do it if that's what he did. Mm -hmm. That sucks. This feels like it, it's, if we've been on a journey and a half yeah. already. Well, if it's a pilot, you know, it's yeah. the first episode, it might mm -hmm. be longer than 60 minutes yeah yeah oh can you imagine God. you got like 150 maybe 200 pounds of stuff strapped to you oh God. that's insane oh dude bill i'll meet up with you over there Did you catch that continuity here his face was much darker gentlemen yeah. doc So that, was, that was a great add in so that was way a, down that was like what a crazy series this would have been to be an actor in man i know yeah, they've done a really good job of setting this up mm -hmm. and like uh, giving you time to fall in love with these characters. Because like at this point, I don't know how you're, but you're, I don't know how you're feeling, but I'm like ner really nervous for these guys, especially knowing the historical context of uh, of, of Normandy. Yeah, like DJ, just just yeah. the just the name Normandy and the, the phrase DJ carries so much weight. Yeah. Like really, really awesome. This is really compelling stuff yeah it's a cool series i mean especially you know this first one we're seeing these guys as the name says become a band of brothers right and i feel like we're right. we've really gotten to that point where sort of weeded out the the weak link and mm -hmm. uh yeah and you and you're and you feel like a part of that two years of training for one drop yeah they haven't seen they any combat yep. and the first thing they're yep. gonna see is normandy yep god airplanes are incredible man <laughs> yeah and then imagine the weight. Oh yeah. Imagine just like the the, the, the geez. Flying through the night. Yep. Just waiting. God. So yeah, you've been up all day. Mm-hmm. And then you're up all night. So by the time you hit the beach, you're like awake for twenty four hours. Yeah, that that, that doesn't that, that's not very uh 
It's not pressurized. It sound, kind of sounds like hell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, Look at that, though. Look Jeez. at that. Great, wow. great, great first episode. First impressions. Well, I think they've obviously did a really good job of getting us connected with these characters. I mean, we feel for all of them. And you sort of get the sense in the opening scene where the just that, that feeling of like that pit in your stomach where it's like, oh, you're told not, we're going to jump, but eh, we're not going to jump. And then the rest of the episode builds that up so that pit in your stomach is just that much, it's times that much bigger when they, yeah, when, when they're they... in the plane flying over. And within that last shot is so iconic, I think, from the images we've seen of Norm, the, you know, storming the beaches in Normandy. Mm -hmm. You know what's coming. We know what's coming because we know what happened, but, mm -hmm. but they also know what's coming in a very different way, but they also don't know what's coming. It's, it's, uh, right. it's weird, and I think that that's why people have such an interest and fascination in, in war movies and, uh, and things like that. That, to me, is like the tone of mm -hmm. the first episode. And, and it ends, like, I know we said, ooh, that would be a good place to end. Ooh, this would be a good place yeah. to end. But where they ended it, mm -hmm. to me, was a really good place to it end. It was a really good place to end. <laughs> of course you want to watch the next episode. So if you're trying to get someone to tune in again a week later, like, yeah, of mm -hmm. course I am. That was amazing. You, yeah, you're you're very committed to these characters and you're and you're you're with them on this journey. I'm kind of like amazed that I I have never seen this. We haven't even gotten to the to the battle stuff yet and this is like this is very this is thrilling stuff, and that's that's not yeah. just us us saying that. Like I, I genuinely am looking forward to the rest of this series. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely reminds me a lot of Saving Private Ryan. Or oh yeah, other, absolutely. Like, really capture this story well of this infantry becoming this band of brothers, and you're in it with them, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. All right. Out of out of ten ten sobles, how how many sobles would you give this? Well, because we're calling it sobles, it makes me want to be <laughs> no, no, really no. harsh. All right, uh, winters. Like, how uh, many winters? Yeah, you know, like eight winters. Eight winters. Yeah. I I was I was gonna. I think I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with a nine. Nine. All right. I think I'm gonna go with a nine. I'd love to uh, have you tune in next time for episode two. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to give the video a a like and feel free to comment as well. Um, if also, if you're already not subscribed to the channel, you totally should because you know we got tons of wonderful content. Yeah. And if you're with us on Patreon, thank you so much for joining us and, and watching the, the full cut with us. Um, we, we can't do this type of stuff without your support. Mm -hmm. um, so this is gonna be a very interesting exercise uh, for us and, and practice with us. Do you have any feedback for us too um, on how maybe you would like the, the, these reactions going forward? Do you prefer the um, Sobels or the Winters rating The Sobels system? or the Winters. <laughs> and hey, if you are just watching clips on YouTube, you know, consider supporting us on Patreon. We would really appreciate it. Uh, there's a link in the description down below, so go check that out. Uh, and you can get access to our full reaction, uh, not only to this episode, but to the entire series. Yeah. So go check that out in the description section down below. Uh, and we'll see you next time on Chicago Reacts. Yes.